Okay, the setup's kind of scuffed, but um, we'll improve over time. But I wanna, I wanna upload to YouTube every week. We'll, we'll call it. What should we call it? Sandbrook Sundays. How about that? Sandbrook Sundays. Remember it. Remember the name Sandbrook Sundays. And Sandbrook Sundays. Just, I'm just gonna talk about random shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's just talk about what's on my mind. Cause honestly, I like uploading to YouTube, but I don't know what to you know upload every week so because usually you know it's just my music which is every like six weeks five weeks new single just dropped link in the description you did see that my phone just <laughs> but, but link in the description learn it all out what am i letting out watch it and you'll find out are you here okay so uh, so today i just wanted to talk about like my trajectory like not trajectory my plans as an artist i feel like um, a lot of artists do the same thing where, um, I don't know, like, what what I'm gonna do for the future? Am I just gonna keep releasing singles, or am I just am I ever gonna make an album? Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna I I just talk about that for a bit. I thought, why not? Might as well. To all my loyal my loyal subscribers out there, my fans, to my future fans who watch this in like a year's time. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to talk about that, to be fair. And so basically, the plan at the moment is to just keep releasing singles every, like, six weeks, seven weeks, usually the best thing to do. Currently, I've been releasing every, like, five to six weeks, which is usually, like, the sweet spot. So, yeah, I'll just keep doing that for, like, maybe till the end of the year. Um, and until I build, build, like, a big enough audience, I'll just keep doing that. And then when, like, I've got, like, an established audience, like, an established fan base, I'll then start looking into an album. But, like, with me and albums, like, I know a lot of artists, they, I mean, it's, a lot of artists, they, you know, they just post, like, they just release, like, 10 songs in a row and they just call it an album, which, you know, it works for a lot of people. Some of my favourite albums, you know, like Rex Rex's album, um, Apricot Princess, it's literally just 10 songs or how many ever songs it is, seven songs, eight songs, and, yeah, that's the album. And I feel like, you know, of course it works. But um, I love albums like where well, it's just a story. Like literally, you're just walk. You're usually just walking through a story. Like it's like you're reading a book. You listen to it. No, no, like um, no shuffle. It's just you listen to it how the the artist intended you to read it. And yeah, that's it. Like Tyler, Tyler Creator. When you listen to Igor, it's literally just a story. Like you start with you start with his theme. You start with him falling in love, and then as it goes down, yada yada yada. You've heard Igor, I've heard Igor, and shit like that. I think it's just so beautiful when like an album is just a story, pretty much. Like you just like the artist is just leading you down this like world, like his world essentially. I think it's a beautiful thing. And yeah, if I do make an album, or when I make an album, it, it's it's got to be something like that. Like as much as I love like albums that are just you know as i said like just 10 songs in a row nine, however many songs in a row and it's just there there's the album i think an album just got to be like a story like you're literally like in the artist's world essentially so for me an album <laughs> is gonna like be a long fucking process for me like if i want to do an album it's not gonna be just some like half assed thing like it would be like non-stop for like at least like nine months ten months i mean even that's like Sure, you know what I mean? Like, it's got to be, like, a proper story. Like, look at, like, Childish Gambino um, because the internet. Like, that had, like, a whole script to it. You know how fucking mad that is? Like, a script. And, like, Tyler with his album. Like, even Frank, Frank Ocean with Blonde. I mean, it wasn't really, like, a story, but, like, the way it cuts in the middle with nights and the beat drop. Like, shit like that is just so, like, good. It's so cool, man. And I just feel like an album's got to be special. Especially, like, a debut album. It's got, it can't just be, like, you know, just a random... I feel like it's got to be... A masterpiece, pretty much. I know I'm like, I'll be overhyping my debut album, but like, that's why I've got to treat it like that. I've got to treat it like a story, like you're in my world essentially, and that's the most important thing. But yeah, that's that's just kind of how I see albums in general. Like, that's just how I think albums should be, like just a story. Like, yeah, I can't wait. I actually can't wait to make albums. I think it'd be so cool. As much as I like, you know, producing singles every five to six weeks, I'm literally making a piano one right now. That'll come out, like, mid-April, maybe. Hopefully. 
Um, I'm literally just recording it now. Um, as much as I love producing singles every six weeks, there's something special about an album. Like, honestly, man, I actually can't wait. But, yeah, it'll be in a while. Like, honestly, obviously, when I establish an audience, fan base, that's when I'll start, like... Because I feel like the, you put, you make singles to when you first start to, like, draw in people. Like, you. You watching. To draw you in. Come to me. And then... And then I'll make an album for you. You come to me, I'll, I'll treat you with an album. Pretty much. That's that's kind of um, the deal. The deal. If you listen to my singles, I'll make an album for you. How about that? So yeah, that's kind of my plans in the near future when I have an established fan base, an audience. I'm doing quite well at the moment. It's not, you know, 4,000 listeners. It's, it's okay. Could be, could be, obviously, it could be a lot better. But I think like when I'm in like the tens of thousands, maybe that's when I'll start, you know, making an album. Maybe even maybe like how about this? When I'm when I'm at like fifty fifty K, yeah, then I'll make an album. Something like that. You know, like a high you know, yeah, around that. But yeah, that's just my plans. Um Yeah. Letting it all out just dropped, it's doing really well on Spotify. I know you've listened. I know you liked it. Maybe I don't know. If not, I'm sorry, but a new one's coming, so you'll like that one. Anyways, that is it for Sam Brook Sundays. Ooh yeah! Remember, remember to just I don't know, just put in your notifications or or tweet. I love Sam Brook Sundays, and I'll be like, me too, me too. If you like, I do too. <laughs> Yeah, I'll try and do this every week. It's just, just random shit, honestly. Like, I don't really, I'll try and up the quality, but I don't really know how. I kind of just think this is just, like, unfiltered shit, you know, you just listen to whilst, I don't know, you're doing something. You wouldn't really watch watch my beautiful face, but maybe, 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 I don't know. But, yeah, just something to listen to whilst you're doing shit. My plans for the future kind of thing. Yeah. Goodbye. See you next Sunday. Uh, I don't know why I just winked, that was so weird. Bye!